Tesla Incorporated is a clean energy company based in Austin, Texas. Tesla designs and manufactures electric vehicles, electric cars and trucks, battery energy storage from home to grid scale, solar panels and solar roof tiles, and related products and services. Tesla is one of the world's most valuable companies and remains the world's most valuable automaker with a market capitalization of more than 600 billion US dollars. The company had the most worldwide sales of battery electric vehicles and plug-in electric vehicles, capturing 23% of the battery electric, purely electric, market and 16% of the plug-in market, which includes plug-in hybrids, in 2020. Through its subsidiary Tesla Energy, the company develops and is a major installer of photovoltaic systems in the United States. Tesla Energy is also one of the largest global suppliers of battery energy storage systems, with 3.99 gigawatt hours, GWH, installed in 2021. Tesla was incorporated in July 2003 by Martin Eberhard and marked by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpenning as Tesla Motors. The company's name is a tribute to inventor and electrical engineer Nikola Tesla. In February 2004, via a $6.5 million investment, Elon Musk became the largest shareholder of the company. He has served as CEO since 2008. According to Musk, the purpose of Tesla is to help expedite the move to sustainable transport and energy, obtained through electric vehicles and solar power. Tesla began production of its first car model, the Roadster Sports Car, in 2009. This was followed by the Model S sedan in 2012, the Model X SUV in 2015, the Model 3 sedan in 2017, and the Model Y crossover in 2020. The Model 3 is the all-time best-selling plug-in electric car worldwide, and, in June 2021, became the first electric car to sell 1 million units globally. Tesla's global sales were 936,222 cars in 2021, an 87% increase over the previous year, and cumulative sales totaled 2.3 million cars at the end of 2021. In October 2021, Tesla's market capitalization reached $1 trillion, the sixth company to do so in U.S. history. Tesla has been the subject of many lawsuits and controversies arising from statements and acts of CEO Elon Musk and from allegations of creative accounting, whistleblower retaliation, worker rights violations, and unresolved and dangerous technical problems with their products. In September 2021, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, ordered Tesla to submit data pertaining to all sold U.S. vehicles equipped with autopilot following the agency's investigations into traffic deaths involving the use of autopilot. The company was incorporated on July 1, 2003, by Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning. Eberhardt and Tarpenning served as CEO and CFO, respectively. Eberhardt said he wanted to build a car manufacturer that is also a technology company, with its core technologies as the battery, the computer software, and the proprietary motor. Ian Wright was Tesla's third employee, joining a few months later. In February 2004, the company raised $7.5 million in Series A funding, including $6.5 million from Elon Musk, who had received $100 million from the sale of his interest in PayPal two years earlier. Musk became the chairman of the board of directors and the largest shareholder of Tesla. J. B. Straubel joined Tesla in May 2004 as chief technical officer. A lawsuit settlement agreed to by Eberhardt and Tesla in September 2009 allows all five, Eberhardt, Tarpenning, Wright, Musk, and Straubel, to call themselves co-founders, call themselves co-founders. Musk took an active role Roadster product design at a detailed level, but was not deeply involved in day-to-day business operations. The company's strategy was to start with a premium sports car aimed at early adopters and then move into more mainstream vehicles, including sedans and affordable compacts. In February 2006, Musk led Tesla's Series B venture capital funding round of $13 million, which added Valor Equity Partners to the funding team. Musk co-led the third, $40 $40 million round in May 2006 which saw investment from prominent entrepreneurs including Google co-founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page, and former eBay president Jeff Skoll. A fourth round worth $45 million in May 2007 brought the total private financing investment to over $105 million. Prototypes of Tesla's first car, the Roadster, were officially revealed to the public on July 19, 2006, in Santa Monica, California at a 350-person invitation-only event held in Barker Hangar at Santa Monica Airport. In August August 2007, Eberhardt was asked by the board, led by Elon Musk, to step down as CEO. Eberhardt then took the title of President of Technology before ultimately leaving the company in January 2008. Co-founder Mark Tarpenning, who served as the Vice President of Electrical Engineering of the company, also left the company in January 2008. 
In August 2007, Michael Marks was brought in as interim CEO, and in December 2007, Zev Drory became CEO and president. Musk succeeded Drory as CEO in October 2008. In June 2009, Eberhardt filed a lawsuit against Musk for allegedly forcing him out. Tesla began production of the Roadster in 2008. By January 2009, Tesla had raised $187 million and delivered 147 cars. Musk had contributed $70 million of his own money to the company. In June 2009, Tesla was approved to receive $465 million in interest-bearing loans from the United States Department of Energy. The funding, part of the $8 billion Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Loan Program, supported engineering and production of the Model S sedan, as well as the development of commercial powertrain technology. Tesla repaid the loan in May 2013, with $12 million interest. In May 2010, to become the Tesla factory in Fremont, California, from Toyota for $42 million, and opened the facility in October 2010 to start production of the Model S. On June 29, 2010, the company became a public company via an initial public offering, IPO, on NASDAQ, the first American car company to do so since the Ford Motor Company had its IPO in 1956. The company issued 13.3 million shares of common stock at a price of $17 per share, raising $226 million. In January 2012, Tesla ceased production of the Roadster, and in June the company launched its second car, the Model S luxury sedan. The Model S won several automotive awards during 2012 and 2013, including the 2013 Motor Trend Car of the Year, and became the first electric car to top the monthly sales ranking of a country, when it achieved first place in the Norwegian new car sales list in September 2013. The Model S was also the best-selling plug-in electric car worldwide for the year's car worldwide for the years 2015 and 2016. Tesla announced the Tesla Autopilot, a driver assistance system, in 2014. In September that year, all Tesla cars started shipping with sensors and software to support the feature, with what would later be called hardware version 1. In April 2015, Tesla entered the energy storage market, unveiling its Tesla Powerwall, Home, and Tesla Powerpack, Business, battery packs. The company received orders valued at $800 million within a week of the unveiling. Tesla began shipping its third vehicle, the luxury SUV Tesla Model X, in September 2015, at which time it had 25,000 pre-orders. In November 2016, Solar City, in an all-stock $2.6 billion deal, and entered the photovoltaics market. The solar installation business was merged with Tesla's existing battery energy storage products division to form the Tesla Energy Subsidiary. The deal was controversial because at the time of the acquisition, Solar City was facing liquidity issues of which Tesla's shareholders were not informed. In February 2017, Tesla Motors changed its name to Tesla Incorporated to better reflect the scope of its expanded business, which now included electric vehicles, battery energy storage systems, and solar power generation. That year Tesla also started its philanthropic effort. Tesla made multiple contributions of solar power to areas recovering from disasters in 2017, in particular installing a solar plus storage system to restore electricity at a hospital in Puerto Rico, following the destruction from Hurricane Maria. In July 2018, the company donated $37.5 million to kindergarten to 12th grades kindergarten to 12th grade science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education in Nevada. Tesla began selling its fourth vehicle model, the Model 3 sedan, in July 2017, the Model 3 was a cheaper vehicle compared to previous Tesla vehicles, and was intended for the mass market. It was highly anticipated, which prompted the company to try to speed up production. By August 2017, there were 455,000 reservations for the Model 3. The rollout was plagued by delays and production problems. This increased pressure on the company, which at this time was one of the most shorted companies in the market. In August 2018, CEO Elon Musk briefly considered taking Tesla private. The plan did not materialize, and gave rise to much controversy and many lawsuits including a securities fraud charge from the SEC. By the end of 2018, the production problems had been overcome, and the Model 3 was the world's best-selling plug-in electric car for the year. Tesla opened its first Giga States in Shanghai, China, in 2019. Giga Shanghai was the first automobile factory in China fully owned by a foreign company, and was built in less than six months. The following year Tesla also started construction on a new Giga factory near Berlin, Germany, and another in Texas, United States. In March 2020, Tesla began deliveries of its fifth vehicle model, the Model Y crossover. On January 10, 2020, 
Tesla reached a market capitalization of $86 billion, breaking the record for greatest valuation of any American automaker. On June 10, 2020, Tesla's market capitalization surpassed those of BMW, Daimler and Volkswagen combined. The next month, Tesla reached a valuation of $206 billion, surpassing Toyota's $202 billion to become the world's most valuable automaker by market capitalization. On August 31, 2020, following this increase in value, Tesla had a 5-for-1 stock split. From July, 2019 to, from July 2019 to June 2020, Tesla reported four profitable quarters in a row for the first time, which made it eligible for inclusion in the S&P 500. Tesla was added to the index on December 21, 2020. It was the largest company ever added, and the sixth largest company in the index at the time of its inclusion. As investors tried to buy more shares as a result of this inclusion, some analysts, such as J.P. Morgan's Ryan Brinkman, suggested investors exercise caution as Tesla was dramatically overvalued. Throughout 2020, the share price of Tesla increased 740%, and on January 26, 2021, its market capitalization reached $848 billion, more than the next nine largest automakers combined and making it the fifth most valuable company in the U.S. From 2015 to 2020, Tesla went on an acquisition spree, buying a handful of little-known companies, Riviera Tool, Groman Engineering, Perdix, Compass Automation, Highbar Systems, and German ATW Automation to advance Tesla's expertise in automation, along with Maxwell Technologies and Stillion to add to Tesla's abilities in battery technology. Groman, renamed Tesla Groman Automation, and Maxwell would continue to operate as subsidiary companies, while the rest would be merged into Tesla. In July 2021, Musk acknowledged that Tesla had sold Maxwell to the former VP of sales for Maxwell. In January 2020, Tesla donated 5 million yuan, $723,000, to the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention to fight the COVID-19 pandemic in mainland China. In October 2020, Tesla told Electric that they had dissolved them public relations, PR, department, with the exception of a few PR managers representing Tesla's European and Asian markets, becoming the first automaker to do so. Tesla hit its goal of building a half million cars in 2020. The company ended the year with over $19 billions of cash, compared to $6.3 billion at the end of 2019. In February 2020 that it had invested some $1.5 billion in Bitcoin in 2020 and on March 24 the company started accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for vehicle purchases in the United States and stated that they would introduce Bitcoin payment in other countries later that year. At the time, Musk tweeted that Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as Bitcoin, not converted to fiat currency it was later revealed in financial documents that between January 1 and March 31, 2021, Tesla had made a $101 million profit on the sale of Bitcoin. After 49 days of accepting the digital currency, the company reversed course on May 12, 2021, saying they would no longer take Bitcoin due to concerns that mining the cryptocurrency was contributing to the consumption of fossil fuels and climate change. The decision resulted in the price of Bitcoin dropping around 12% on May 13. During a July Bitcoin conference, Musk suggested Tesla could possibly help Bitcoin miners switch to renewable energy in the future and also stated at the same conference that if Bitcoin mining reaches, and trends above 50% renewable energy usage, that Tesla would resume accepting Bitcoin. The price for Bitcoin rose after this announcement. After earlier disputes with California officials over COVID-19 restrictions, on December 1, 2021, Tesla moved its headquarters from Palo Alto, California, to the Gigafactory at Austin, Texas. However, Musk stated that Tesla would continue to operate its Fremont factory in the San Francisco Bay Area, and will continue to expand in California. In September 2021, Tesla broke ground on a new battery factory in Lathrop, California, and signed a lease in October 2021 for additional office space in Palo Alto. Also in October 2021, Tesla's market capitalization reached $1 trillion, the sixth company to do so in U.S. history on news that car rental company Hertz had placed an order for 100,000 Tesla vehicles for its fleet. On March 22, 2022, Tesla launched its new car factory outside Berlin, with chief executive Elon Musk handing over the first deliveries to customers. The US carmaker's Giga Berlin plant is the largest for electric vehicles in Europe. On April 7, 2022, Tesla celebrated the public opening of the Giga Texas facility with its Cyber Rodeo event attended by an estimated 15,000 invitees. Musk said an email sent to employees that he was reducing salaried headcount by 10% because the company had become overstaffed in many areas, adding that hourly headcount will increase. Tesla's CEO said in a tweet that the automotive company's total headcount will increase over the next year, but specified that salaried staff should remain fairly flat.
should remain fairly flat.